Welcome back. A lot of people feel compelled to buy bunnies around the Easter holiday, but there is a lot of homework that should be done. Dr. Lori Hess is a veterinarian and a contributing editor for PetHealthNetwork.com. She's joining us with some insight tips before buying that Easter bunny. And I guess the first question is, uh, this is pretty common around the Easter holiday, right? It is. A lot of people think they want bunnies and they rush out and impulsively buy bunnies, but they don't know what they're getting into. And uh, there are a lot of considerations you really have to think about before rushing out to get a bunny. I've actually written about that in my blog at PetHealthNetwork.com. Mm -hmm. But um, we really wanted to focus today on what are the great things about bunnies, what's exciting, and what's terrific about the different breeds that we work with. So just tell me, you said before we meet some of the um, bunnies that we're so anxiously awaiting, what are some of the uh, considerations that people need to look into before they do this? People have to think, do they have the time to spend with the bunny? They need to be socialized, to be handled, to be held, so that they're not fearful. They need to have the space to take care of a bunny. I mean, they do need to come out of their cages and hop around and they also need a lot of food so you need to have some finances put aside for bunnies too okay we're gonna meet one of the oh this was a big one here that your assistant is bringing in hello this welcome. is our most exciting looking bunny this is the closest I've been to a bunny yeah. without it being a cartoon <laughs> Do I, is it like a dog? Do you stick your hand well, out and let this him sniff? Is, yeah, he'll sniff you. This is a dog-like bunny. This is actually a Flemish giant bunny. He's the biggest breed of bunny. You can see he's huge. Huge. Very impressive guy. Very, very sweet. Um, they actually are really, really docile and handleable, but you do need to handle them quite a bit and socialize them. And, and they can be a little tough to handle, you know? They squiggle around and, and they can jump and hurt themselves if you're not holding them right. Now, Dr. Hess, as we look at it, uh, at him, right? Mm -hmm. This is, this a, is him. a boy, yep. Uh, at the boy. Are their personalities similar like, uh, uh, like other animals? They each have an individual one. Absolutely. Some are shy, some are... Yeah, the different breeds have different personalities, and that's one of the fun things about rabbits is that they all have their unique characteristics. And the goal is to really match your family and your lifestyle with the right bunny. So this bunny is big, and because he can hurt himself, he probably wouldn't be the best bunny for a young family with little children. Um, he might get injured, but he is very sweet and docile for older children. All right, let's see who else we have here about to make the um do you need me to well maybe oh, I'll just okay we'll pass hand the switch <laughs> okay oh look at this one so this is an angora bunny okay obviously because it has this beautiful long fluffy coat very very soft it's actually do you want to touch okay very very soft um she oh, wow. is actually uh just like cashmere it's actually softer than cashmere very soft. and obviously she's known for her long woolly coat they actually call it wool and these bunnies are just mushy, cuddly little animals, but if you're going to get one of these, you need to know that you're going to spend a lot of time grooming, a lot of brushing, so a little bit of a higher maintenance bunny. As far as the shedding goes, obviously I imagine there is some, particularly oh, yes. with, with <laughs> a, a hair and fur like this. Or yeah, this is not a great bunny for people with severe allergies, but certainly if you're not allergic and you don't mind brushing and you want something to cuddle and love, this is a great choice. Okay, I think we have a smaller bunny here. Yes, we do. Oh, he's cute. This is a little mini Rex. Okay. You can pet him too. Okay. He's very sweet. He's a the he's lights a may shy. be frightening him a little bit. Yes. Hello. And obviously he's hey, much cutie. smaller. Okay. I don't know if we can get a shot. Let me see if I can move my knee. Make sure I'm right there. And uh, now tell us about this breed. This breed is obviously known for its very short and velvety coat. He's very soft. They're really smart bunnies. These are the bunnies that you can actually get to train, litter box train. They live a little longer. And these are better for families, obviously, with smaller children because they're more manageable. Um, they're very, very sweet and social and friendly and playful. Now notice his nails. Yeah. And uh, do they require trimming? Oh, or? yes. Yeah. All bunnies require nail trimming and brushing. He's, his are a little long. We didn't okay. prepare properly for our segment. <laughs> um, you should see mine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but he, he's a little scared, too. Okay. But, uh, yeah, these are really, really nice bunnies for, um, you know, just cuddling and loving and sitting quietly in your lap. Okay. I think we have another ready we to do. come on to good day. This is a little bit of a different kind of bunny. This is a lion head. A lion head. And yeah, lion heads are relatively new breeds, actually. Um, he is aptly named because you can see he has this long mane of fur encircling his head, hence the lion part of it. Um, and this is the kind of bunny you want to get. If you want a bunny that just wants to be with you all the time and just wants to sit with you and craves your attention, this is a great bunny to, to get. Um, they, uh, they don't get very big. This mm -hmm. is about as big as they get, so they're pretty manageable. Um, and they're very, very sweet. 
Now, tell us about the diet. We are all, we know carrots, you know, obviously from Bugs Bunny, right. but you talk to me, you're, you're a vet. What about the well, diets? the one thing that actually all bunnies need more than anything else is hay. Um, it's their main source of uh, hay. Yeah, it's, a, it's their main source of food. Um, they really need to eat hay all the time, not just because it's really good for their intestines, they need the fiber, but it's also good for their teeth. Their teeth grow continuously, which is kind of unusual, mm -hmm. and they need to wear down their teeth with um, grinding the hay. So, they, you, yeah. Now, Lori, do you keep the bunnies in a cage inside the house? Or are they okay to move about? Or? Um, they move about with supervision. The, most okay. of the time they're in a cage. We don't really recommend that they go outside because there's all kinds of predators outside. Right. And it gets really hot. Um, but uh, yeah, they can be caged, but they do need some time out. So if you're thinking of getting a bunny, you have to give them space and you have to allot some time to take care of them that way. We're gonna bring another one on. May I hold this sure. one? Sure. The lion's head? She's gonna shed on you a little bit. I can, I can handle that. Okay. Hello, my dear. And you are okay. holding. Hey, cutie. Hi. This one is a little bit nervous. Oh, it's, it's, okay. Okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 I'm just gonna you should see it. me in the morning. <laughs> I do that all the time. He's a little camera shy. Oh, no problem. Okay. We'll see We're going to let him relax right for a second. But um, he was saying hay. Yes, yeah, so hay is an important part of their diet. They can have some rabbit pellets, okay. um, which are you know kibble, just like you'd feed any other animal, but they're vegetable. And they can have a little bit of fresh produce every day. We've talked a little bit about the I don't, maybe novelty mm -hmm. of a, being around Easter and wanting to buy one. What, are the, what don't people need to do if they find that I cannot care for this bunny like I thought I would. Right. Well, unfortunately, that's really the problem. Too many people rush out, and then they end up rehoming them. The shelters fill up this time of year with bunnies. And the worst thing that we see is that people put bunnies out in their yard, thinking they're, oh, they're going back to nature, and they're just going to hop away and live in the forest. But these bunnies are not actually the same species of bunnies that live in your yard, and they don't know how to fend for themselves. So they don't do well, and many of them die when they're put outside. All right. So their message is really that if you feel like you can really take care of a bunny and you've researched it great get a live one but unfortunately you know if you don't feel you can maybe you should just stick to the chocolate bunny <laughs> absolutely Laura has thank you so much for being with us today and we're gonna be going from bunnies to raising the roof on this Easter Sunday the ARC gospel choir will be performing when we come back oh.